could you share um, what your kind of longevity protocol is? We, we kind of touched on a little bit, uh, quercetin, but so w what's your longevity protocol and, and do you take any supplements? Yes, and um, I'm a newcomer in terms of uh, longevity uh, management. I, I started about uh, a year and a half ago and mm -hmm. two, two years ago when I um, was trying to design our, uh, our biomarkers. And so let me put it this way. So I, I put the whole longevity, I, I get numbers uh, into two camps. I don't know what's the fair or not. There's a, a group of people who seek extreme or radical longevity. Mm. And, and their goal is to live forever or for, you know, <laughs> very, very long. I, I'm not in that camp. I think I, I share the goal. I share the dream, right? There's nothing wrong with that, uh, that goal or dream. But I think uh, it's not quite realistic yet at mm -hmm. the moment. I, I hope we can achieve that, uh, uh, that goal, uh, you know, quickly. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime. And mm -hmm. I, I, may, I wish I'm wrong. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> Right. So I put myself in the second camp that I define. It's how can I, you know, maximize my health and my longevity, my health span now. Mm. I think the way to that we can extend our health and longevity is through prevention of aging related diseases. Mm. And that that's everything behind what I I I study and what I do in, in, in the company and what I do in my personal life. And actually my wife joined me as well. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's why I, I test myself uh, mm -hmm. sometimes weekly and at least once in a month because you know, I get a test for free. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm. And so, so I, and also, I I don't recommend anything that I don't to other people that I don't that I don't do. You know, everything that I recommend is done on me, and mm. so so I know I, I know uh, at least it works on me. And so, I carefully monitor my biomarkers, and and then I carefully select. Uh, supplements or combination of supplements to specifically address certain issues that I have. And the main issues I had was uh, my senescence was high, my oxidative stress was high, and my vitamin D was extremely low, and my NAD was low, my inflammation was kind of borderline. You know, I had a a lot of issues. So, um, by the way, we have an overall assessment of the health status by an index called the W index or mm. wellness index. And, and if, for a perfectly healthy individual, you, you get a, a hundred points. Mm -hmm. uh, and I only have four individuals uh, who got a hundred points <laughs> and, and one individual reversed to 95 now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, the other three I haven't tested yet. Uh, so my, I started with um, about uh, 60, I mean, some, mm. you know, some major, major issues. And, and gradually I was able to get myself into uh, to about 95. Um, oh, that's good. I, my, my changes in, uh, from time to time because I'm experimenting with a lot of different supplements because I want to know what works, what doesn't. So. Sometimes my numbers may look very bad, but you know, when it looks bad, I'll try to get it back again. So I, I can manage my, my W index pretty well. Pretty much, um, not quite it well, but I, I, can, I can do it um, you know, quite uh, successfully. So, and, and also I, you know, I try to uh, have a more healthy lifestyle. I, um, I exercise, uh, not enough, but, but I do exercise. I play tennis, I, I do garden work, I, I produce uh, 
enough uh, vegetables for me, for my friends, and even for my research center. <laughs> and I have a fish pond. Um, <laughs> so uh, try to have uh, a healthy lifestyle. And I, I like to eat, and I, I wish I, uh, I could eat less, but I do uh, have uh, intermittent uh, fasting from time to time. Not, not enough, not often enough. But uh, I think intermittent uh, fasting is actually a great way of improve your health. And fasting is very difficult. It's difficult for, for most people. But I think intermittent fasting should be easy enough for everyone to do. And it has a lot of benefit. And probably, if it's done correctly, it's probably even better than fasting, if you can only do one. Uh, mm. And obviously, you know, both are, are, are important. Right. Um, but fasting can be very difficult for, for some individuals. I understand it. If, if it's difficult, if fasting is difficult for you, try intermittent fasting. Um, it could be a good thing to do. So, yeah, I mean, you, you know, I, I, I think uh, I, once I got into it, I, I think I have, um, I feel more energetic and especially with, with, with NAD in, in really, uh, uh, boosting my, my energy. I work very long hours and unfortunately I don't uh, get to sleep enough. And that's, that's something I needed to do better. I can sleep well, but I just don't get enough hours. Right. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you so much for uh, like staying late and, and talking to us. So can you share, uh, where can people find out What's what, what you're doing both in, at Infinity Precision and at the university? Yeah, Nick, my, my name is very unique. Um, um, yes. just Google, <laughs> when you just Google my name, they are going to find all kinds of information about me, you know, both mm. good and bad, I guess. <laughs> uh, and and they, they can, yeah, they can search um, uh, Infinity Precision Medicine. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure that uh, you end uh, with an I instead of a Y. <laughs> uh, I like to help people, so don't hesitate to contact uh, Infinity or me personally. Okay, excellent. Dr. Sher, thank you so much for your time and, and your information today. Thank you, Richard. Professor Sher is very generous to offer a 10% discount code to our audience for all the tests. Please find the discount code and details in the description. I hope that you found the video informative. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.